Hey, what's up, everybody? RJ back with another video. And I just want to give my thoughts on last night's Raw. Um, I watched a lot of people's Raw reviews, and uh, and uh, some of my agree some things they say I agree with, some things I've heard I don't. Um, people are really being harsh on the whole Triple H thing. Um, to me, you know, uh, it's different. I mean, people can bitch with as much as they want for people saying, oh, he's buried everybody. People mentioning they he buried Daniel Bryan. Uh, Triple H definitely did not bury Daniel Bryan. Um, Triple H jobbed out to Daniel Bryan. He had an entire evolution job out to Daniel Bryan pretty much. And so anyone that's saying, oh, he buried Daniel Bryan, that's just, that's, I completely disagree with your opinion on that. I mean, everyone's got their own opinion and I respect people's opinion, but I just disagree. Um, and if people disagree agree with my opinion, that's fine. But that's my opinion, and I completely disagree with anyone that says that he buried Daniel Bryan. Um, the storyline Daniel Bryan had was, you know, not that great leading up. I mean, main event WrestleMania, he beat Triple H. You know, went on to win the belt or the title, and uh, I guess that's cool and all. But anyways, off topic. Monday Night Raw. Um. There was definitely some high points and low points. Um, starting off the night, you know, Triple H coming out there. Uh, the way they went about that was, you know, okay, I guess. You know, it's cool seeing Triple H out there with the title. Um, people saying it's 2000 all over again. I mean, he hasn't been champion in years. You know, it's been many, many years. I mean, he's had his hair cut for, what, three or four years now? Four, at least four years, I think, now. Yeah, so, I mean... It's not like he's just giving himself titles all the time. He's a 14-time champion. If he wanted to beat Ric Flair's record, he would have done that shit a long, long-ass time ago. Um, but, you know, people just hating on it to hate on it. I mean, you can't please everybody. I mean, that's just that's just how it is. You can't please everybody when it comes to anything involving entertainment. I mean, people will like certain movies. Some people won't. People will like Batman. People will like Superman, you know. People will like cars that, you know, have a lot of horsepower. Some people like those rice burner, you know, one stage away from a lawnmower cars, you know. Everyone has their own opinion on things like that, but to me, the Triple H storyline, it's, it's kind of refreshing to have something different. Um, I was never really on board with the Roman Reigns storyline that they had. Um, it's just, it's just, I mean, they're out of, they have so many injuries in the WWE right now that it's, they got to do something to get WrestleMania going. So we're going to have Triple H versus either Brock Lesnar or Roman Reigns. I think it's clearly going to be Roman Reigns. Um, Dean Ambrose, I didn't mention him because I don't think he's got a shot at this, to be honest with you guys. But I could be wrong, but I just don't think that I am. Um, Roman Reigns versus Triple H, I predict. I mean, they got to do something with Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family with Brock Lesnar. So I don't know... I mean, he's going to be in the main event of the next pay-per-view. Maybe the Wyatts have something to do with that or something that leads to a WrestleMania match between Bray Wyatt and Brock Lesnar, which I really don't want to see. That sounds like a really shitty match. Um, Bray Wyatt faced Undertaker a couple years ago in a flash in a pan WrestleMania match, and that was really shitty too. Um, it's not that I don't think that Bray Wyatt or Huskeris has doesn't have talent. He's a good wrestler. For a long time, his you know his character was going somewhere, but they've had them just have meaningless matches with so many people. The Wyatt family, they're all about you know being on top until the main match and then losing. Being on top until the main match and then losing, and it's just something that just keeps on happening with them. And it's to the point where they've kind of they've kind of really shook up those characters to the point where they're just not believable that they're going to win the big thing, you know. So. uh not looking forward to that. Uh, a high point at the uh, Monday Night Raw was definitely AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. Amazing uh, to see that. That was. I wish we'd have more matches like that. It lasted through three commercial breaks. Um, Jericho, AJ Styles. I mean, they were out there for like thirty some minutes. He need to give Jericho and AJ another match like that. I would love to see them wrestle again. Um, the fans definitely gave AJ a. A good reaction, you know, a good standing ovation for AJ Styles. Um, I think it's pretty cool. They need to kind of limit what he says on the mic, though, because AJ Styles is one thing about him, he's never been good on the mic itself. So, 
they definitely need to limit that. But if they limit that, I think that he'll be, you know, he'll be all right. Um, but that match was great. Then we had this segment with The Rock. Um, it was really great seeing him, you know, about the parks, you know, park, uh, have the Miz park his car real quick. That was pretty funny. He comes up, I don't know, where after the limo, the Miz, and then the truck comes out. And he tells Miz to park his car. Love that. Uh, that whole segment was great. Uh, they had a little, you know, had him walking all the way up to the gorilla position and coming out. He had talked to Rick Ross. Uh, you know, the whole thing with Lana was kind of funny. It's amazing how uh, how much shorter one person looks. Like the Rock's what six four, six five, and he looked he looked real small compared to Rusev right there. Only because he's wearing you know he's wearing tennis shoes, some Nikes, and Rusev's got his wrestling boots on that gave him a gave him a boost a little bit there. Um, but I thought that segment was really good. Uh, the New Day, entertaining as always. Uh, I don't know if this is going to lead to something or not because um, The Rock and The Usos versus The New Day, three on three at WrestleMania. I kind of hope it doesn't because I'm not a fan of The Usos. They're always so damn boring. Oh, man, they're so boring. But uh, if that happens, you know, at least, at least The Rock's wrestling. I think it'd become a waste of time for him if he's going to only wrestle a few more Manias or a few more matches in general. I'd rather it be against, you know, a one-on-one -on -one or something worth doing, not with the Usos, but it looks like we might be leading towards something like that if he wrestles at all. I think this is one of the last times we'll see The Rock between now and Mania, because in effect he said, see you guys at WrestleMania. You know, I mean, I don't think he's going to be on TV exactly every week or leading up. He's not going to be doing promos, cutting things and stuff for WrestleMania, I don't think, but I might see a few video vignettes between now and Mania or something like that, but... I don't see him really being on Raw or anything like that. Um, and then the main event, you know, match. Uh, the the League of Nations, it's, it's just so awful. It's, God, it's awful. The League of Nations, the four probably most born and bland people you could put together that have ever held a world title, except for Rusev, obviously, and the Wade Bear who won the king of the ring, which after he won the king of the ring, his career kind of got the king of the ring curse, I guess. People talk about the Madden curse, but yeah, it, was, it was pretty bad. Um, just the main event of Raw was just, it wasn't good. It, it wasn't. That was probably one of the worst parts of the show for me was the main event. Whenever I see Del Rio in a match, I like to hit that fast forward button anyways, you know, I just go, you know, they, uh, you should call them the click because, you know, every time they're on the TV, click, get it? <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on Raw. I thought that the rock part was sweet. The AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho match. I loved it. Want to see more of stuff like that. I love the fact that he came right to the main event roster. I like that. Monday Night Raw. Um, I'm fine with Triple H being the champion. It's weird that we only seen him one time on the whole show, though. Um, you think he would have came out? You know, with Stephanie at the end for the announcement for the fast lane. Apparently, Triple H isn't wrestling at fast lane at this moment because they said the winner faces Triple H at WrestleMania, so there's going to be no match at fast lane for the title. So, fast lane interview is going to have a lot, a lot of uh, work to be done in order for it to be remotely worth watching because it's probably going to be some throwaway pay per view, which we all figured it would be anyways. I mean, it's a you know that. They took Elimination Chamber out, they put Fastlane in, Fastlane sucked last year, probably will this year, but overall Raw was pretty good, much better than it has been in the past, uh, main event was really weak, uh, probably the worst part of the show was the main event to me, as far as, you know, the level you expect, I mean, it's not the worst, it was definitely not the worst segment by no means, it was some really shitty segments in between those three hours, like Flo Rider, for example, that was pretty shitty, um, but... Yeah, it was pretty good. I thought Raw was pretty good. Um, hopefully, Raw will keep getting better. I mean, Mania's coming up. We're going to be seeing Lesnar again soon. So, let's hope it keeps going. Let me know what you guys thought of Monday Night Raw. Do you think The Rock's going to team with the Usos? Uh, Lesnar versus Wyatt? Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you all later.